So this time from the Transformers Prime First Edition, we're taking a look at Optimus Prime. Really glad to have this figure. Again, if you know know the history between the first editions, they were initially offered, but uh, all orders were canceled for the U.S. Now some did creep out here, and uh, people were able to get their hands on him. But for the most part, they were only offered in Canada and overseas. So, uh, after a lot of flack, Hasbro decided to re-release them later in the year. And that's, now that it's almost the end of 2012, uh, they're finally starting to hit stores. I've gotten my hands on the Voyagers. I did not order I ordered this from Big Bad Toy Store before we take a look at Optimus Prime we're going to take a look at the packaging quickly it is pretty similar to it's pretty similar to the packaging of the US masterpieces with this plastic piece that uh is large at the top and slims down to the bottom to a cardboard piece here. They do offer this little stupid little stand here that you can I guess display the figure like that or in robot mode. It's pretty useless I think. I don't know why they even bothered. But anyway back to Optimus Prime here. Optimus Prime he's pretty cool in alt mode and he does well in hiding his robot pieces uh, there's only one thing that I have a real problem with and that's the front here I don't know if everything's quite lined up right but it really seems to be pushing apart at the front there uh, you don't really notice it and uh, you know I don't really keep these uh, my transformers in alt modes so it doesn't make too much of a difference to me uh, also I would have appreciated um, maybe having these pieces chromed up or painted silver uh, like the running boards here the diamond plate running boards and I just noticed now that there is a little scuff there where that has been scraped off the um so that's a little bit warning and maybe the front grill here could have been painted a little bit better um but everything's nice and uh oh wait i do have a little bit of a problem with the brown in here um yeah i it looks good in robot mode but in alt mode it doesn't quite look right uh, I think if they had like maybe a deeper red not exactly the red of this but um, if it were just a like a deep red uh, reddish brown instead of a flat brown it would look a lot better and from the view in the back it is a little bit hollow uh, you can't really tell there's robot parts unless you turn them over and it's obviously the legs but we all know mostly the trailer of the cab here or the back of the cab here for most Optimus Primes generally to do, tend to become his legs now now Prime does come with two weapons he has a sword and a blaster and you can put them in either hand like so now his sword here I kinda think they made an arrow on I think it's supposed to be reversed so what I like to do is put it in actually backwards or the reverse way 
and thus you get the blade like that. And I know it doesn't hide the fist as well, but if you're having them positioned like that, I think it hides it a lot better. And uh, in terms of articulation, his head goes left and right. It uh, doesn't move forward and back anyway too much. Uh, his arms go forward and back, out and in, rotate and bend at the elbow. His wrists do rotate, so that's pretty cool. He's got waist articulation there. A little bit limited since it is part of the transformation, um, but legs go forward, back, out to the side, in, they bend at the knee, and his feet are pretty positionable, even got ankle pivot there. So you can get him in some pretty cool poses. So he's there, ready to take on the Decepticons and uh, save the Earth there. So yeah, I really do like him. It really captures the character from the series a lot better than the actual Voyager that they initially released. And, uh... Yeah, so if you see him, I do recommend picking him up. And uh, hopefully you all will be able to get Starscream and RC to basically complete my collection of the core Autobot group and uh, have a Decepticon foil for them. Um, so stay tuned. And until my next video, I'll see you. So here's a quick look at how all the figures look pretty much in scale with each other. Now these are all the figures that I have. Of course, I have the later Bumblebee and the Ratchet. Now Ratchet should be just a little bit taller than he actually is. Um, you know, uh, again, I hope to get an RC and see how she fits into the scale. I think she's going to be a little bit taller than the scale would be. And, uh, hopefully they will do a smoke screen. Uh, I really just watched his, I've been kind of backlogged in new Transformers Prime episodes. But hopefully we'll get him and we can add to the greater things. I do have Wheeljack, um, but I'm not really too interested in Decepticons other than Starscream and a good Megatron to go in scale with uh, the Prime there.